Hey everybody, welcome to New Love Memorial Day Yoga class. My name's Jen and I'm very happy to be guiding you through an hour long flow. For today's class, you'll be needing a mat or a blanket, something comfortable for you to have your own practice on. And also you'll be needing at least one yoga block. If you do not have a yoga block, simply a big textbook or a water bottle is fine. Anything that helps you bring the floor up closer to your hands. Um, this is an all open level flow. Anybody and all types of bodies are certainly welcome. And let's get going. And I do have music playing in the background. It's on a low setting. I'm actually gonna turn it down just a little bit more. Um, it should be fine. Yeah, I tested it out before. Anyway, let's get going. So we'll find ourselves laying on our backs, knees pointed up to the sky, and then you can take the feet a little bit wider than your knees and let the knees fall in towards the center. You can have your hands down by your side or placed on your tummy. Take a breath. And as you exhale, gently close the eyes. Before we bring our attention to our breath, first let's take a moment to recognize that we are stepping into the space. If you've gotten a good look at the space before, you know, imagining it, seeing it in your own mind. Also recognize where your body is. It's on a surface you're choosing to step on for your own practice. Notice what parts of the body are touching your mat towel or blanket, what parts are making contact with one another. And start to notice the rise and fall of your belly. If your hands are placed on your belly, notice how you inhale. The belly rises into the palms. And as you exhale, the belly falls and the palms collapse into the belly. You're simply taking note of this breath, becoming aware, not trying to change it or force it. On your own time, start to allow the inhalations to become bigger and making the exhalations as equal. As you inhale, maybe the belly parts the hands a little bit more. And as you exhale, the hands grow closer towards one another. If there is a place on your body that feels it's a little bit sore, you can take a hand and place it there, giving that area a little bit of attention, sending energy and breath, letting the palms soften on that body part that you chose. And on your next exhale, Gently let the hands float down by your sides if they're not already there. And on another exhale, gently float the feet in towards your butt, knees directly up towards the sky. Hug one knee into the chest and then the other. On another exhale, slowly bow the chin towards your chest. Hug the knees in towards the chest as well, become a little ball on your mat. Start to circle the knees one way, then circle them the other way. And on the next exhale, slowly roll the top of the back down all the way to your head. 
taking the shins tabletop towards the sky. On the next exhale, we slowly float the heels so they lightly tap the floor. On your next exhale, we float the shins back to tabletop. We inhale, let the heels float down. Exhale, carry the shins back to tabletop. If you want, you can have your hands underneath the butt or just down by the sides, whatever you prefer for your lower back. As we float the heels down to tap and back up, we want to squeeze the inner thighs towards one another, engaging the inner parts of our legs. And we have four more. We inhale for four, exhale for four. Inhale for three, exhale for three. Inhale for two, exhale for two. Inhale for one, exhale for one. On your next inhale, slowly float the knees in towards your chest, exhale. If your eyes are closed, slowly blink them open. Or to notice if your breath had changed any more after that, simply taking note. On your next exhale, keeping the knees hugged in, take the chin and nose up towards the knees, become a ball once more. Take the palms behind your head, let the thumbs elongate down the neck so that you have a nice support system underneath the upper, um, the cervical spine and the neck. On an inhale, we kick the bottoms of the feet out, lengthening the legs. Exhale, drive the knees in. We inhale, kick the feet out. Exhale, knees in. Try and keep your lower back on the floor. So if that means that your legs need to be um, at a higher angle, by all means, do so. And we're gonna take four more. Inhale for four. Exhale for four. Inhale for four. Exhale for three. <laughs> Inhale for two. Exhale for two. Inhale for one. Exhale for one. Become a ball once more. Take an inhale. Exhale, let the head and neck lower towards the earth. Take a couple of windshield wipers of the knees on the lower back and then start to take some rocking motions back and forth on the spine. Let these rocking motions become larger and larger and then take one big rock, maybe flow up to your tailbone, finding the feet float above your mat. Here we are in boat position. In boat, you can have your hands underneath the hamstrings, legs out at an elongated angle or bend from the knees like we do in tabletop position. We take a big breath in. Exhale, belly grows stronger. We inhale through the nose. Exhale, belly grows stronger. Keeping the elbows and collarbones wide. One more breath in. Exhale, slowly cross one leg in front of the other. Come up onto the knees, crawl through your way to a tabletop position. Hands right underneath the shoulders, knees right underneath the hips. Toes are um, flat, tops of the feet. We inhale, let the belly drop, take the eyes towards the front of the room, wherever you are. We're not gonna look up towards the sky simply because we're trying to elongate the neck. And then we exhale. Round the spine, eyes to five. We inhale, take your gaze forward, send the tail up towards the sky. Exhale, round the back, eyes to butt for cat. Take a couple more rounds of cat and cow on your own time with your own breath. You can take the pace a little bit slower or a little bit faster if you two chose to do so. Then on the next inhale, we'll find a tabletop position in the spine. 
um, tailbone reaching back, crown of the head reaching forward, gazing down at the top of the mat, again, finding length in the back of our neck. Hands right underneath the shoulders, spread the palms. Inhale, we let the heart lower towards the earth, let the shoulders rise up towards the sky. Exhale, press through the hands, lifting up out of the shoulders. We inhale, let the shoulders drop, heart drops. Exhale, press out of the wrists, out of the shoulders. We take two more. We inhale, let the heart lower. Exhale, press out of the hands and wrists. Inhale, let the heart lower. Exhale, press through wide palms. Keeping the left hand where it is, we're going to take the right fingertips to our ear, keeping the inside of our forearm parallel with the earth. Press through the left forearm as you inhale, rotating the right ear up towards the sky. Exhale, keeping the arm exactly where it is. Let your gaze flow towards the left. We inhale, open up for a twist. Exhale, let the gaze and elbow float down. One more, inhale, open up for a twist. Pressing up out of the left shoulder and hand. Exhale, float the right hand down. Other side, left fingertips and inner part of the palm and forearm parallel with the earth. Inhale, press through the right palm, lifting up out of the right shoulder as you open up the left for a twist. Exhale, keep pressing into the right hand as you rotate down. Inhale, twisting from the thoracic spine as best as you can. Exhale, float it down. One more. Inhale, take it up for a twist much as you can. If it hurts a lot, take it down as much. Exhale, rotate and twist down. Inhale, open it up for one more time. Exhale, left hand floats back down. Take the big toes together, widen the knees. On your next exhale, send the hips back, hands forward for a child's pose. Resting the forehead into the middle of the mat. I'm gonna keep um, my head up so I can keep talking to you guys. Every time you inhale, feel the belly melt into the thighs. And every time you exhale, feel the heaviness of your upper body rest closer towards the earth. Take two more breaths here in child's pose. Note that child's place is a place you can come to. If you feel you ever need a break or if a pose um, brings you any sort of pain, um, find a modification or come out of the pose. Um, I will also be offering modifications throughout the class. That being said, we continue. Inhale, look forward at the top of your mat. Come to all fours. Exhale, knees right underneath the hips, tuck the toes. Send one leg back, then the other. Press through the palms and toes for high plank. We're lifting the belly away from the earth, sending the heart forward. We find the shoulders dropping away from the ears, pressing um, into the palms, lifting up out of the wrists. Lifting the heels up towards the sky, hamstrings engage as well. We inhale for one. Exhale for two. Inhale for three, look forward. As you exhale, keep setting the heart forward, but send the hips high. Take it to your first downward dog of the practice. You can widen the stance between your feet and then start to pedal out the knees, waking up the backs of the legs. In downward facing dog, we press through the index knuckle mounds, finding space between the shoulders and collarbones. Forearms internally rotate. Um, upper arm bones externally rotate. Lengthen the spine, belly in, heels reaching down towards the earth. Take one more breath in downward facing dog. And on your next exhale, close the feet in towards one another. Inhale, rising onto the balls of the feet, roll through a long spine, high plank. Exhale, drop the knees, untuck the toes, shift forward, shoulders just past the hands, then the elbows modify chaturanga. You see there's a block. Inhale, pressing the front of your body into the earth.
here, but lift the belly away. Take the heart inch one away from the mat. Baby cobra, exhale, lower down. That one more time, inhale. Lift the heart one inch away from the mat. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, come through all fours. Exhale, take it back up to downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, bend the knees, tiptoe as many or as little times as you would like to the top of the mat for Uttanasana forward fold. Finding the feet together, inner thighs rotating in towards one another, letting the body hang. Maybe grab the elbows, you can bend the knees for a modification if your hamstrings feel tight. Start to rock the upper body left and right. And let the hands go, bend the knees, rolling up through the spine, coming to stand tall in Sadasana. Big toes touching, heels um, just slightly parted. Can you lift all 10 toes? Keeping all 10 toes spread, can you place them back down? We're just lifting and engaging the quad just a tiny bit, squeezing the outer glutes just a tiny bit as well. Collarbones wide and hands forward. Take an inhale through the nose. Exhale, close the eyes. Take a moment to check in with your breath. Note any changes. And on your next exhale, slowly blink the eyes open. We inhale, circle the arms up. Exhale, swim the arms back, heart lowers, forward fold. Inhale, fingertips to shins or to blocks for a halfway lift. Tailbone lengthening the back crown of the head, reaching forward. Exhale, bend the knees, send the tail back, place both hands on the mat. We send the left leg back, drop the knee, untuck the toes. Take an inhale, Hit, um, fingertips on the floor or blocks again. Press through the blocks, rounding the spine. Exhale, stay here. We inhale, fill the back body up. We feel the abdomen close towards one another as we press through the um, bottom foot and back shin. We're finding that engagement, that power from the earth. The sort of grounding motion allowing us to have energy flowing throughout the top. On your next exhale, walk the hands back. Start to dig the heel into the mat. You can bend the knee, lengthening the hips back, lengthening the heart forward. Take another breath in. Exhale. Ouch. Inhale, walk the hands forward, round the spine. Press through the front foot, back shin. Sending both hips forward while still engaging the abdomen and psoas. On your next exhale, send the hips back, dig the heel. Knee does not need to be fully straight. It can be bent. It's actually a little bit better for your hamstrings, waking them up. On your next inhale, walk it forward. On an exhale, walk it back. Inhale, walk it forward. The left hand into the block, look forward and take the right arm up towards the sky for a twist. If you would like, you could flip the bomb. Take the back of the hand to the lower part of your back. We you take two breaths here. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, maybe look towards the back a little bit more. One more inhale. Exhale, slowly float the right hand down. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, both hands to the earth. Step the right foot back, inhale, shift forward, exhale, drop the knees, untuck the toes. Your modified chaturanga, keep those elbows hugging in towards the ribs. Inhale, lift the heart one inch away from the mat. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift the heart one inch away from the mat. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, come through all fours. As you exhale, find your downward dog one more. Inhale, rising onto the balls of the feet. Exhale, bend the knees. Tiptoe as many or as little times toward the top of your mat. Uttanasana, forward fold. Still lifting those kneecaps, letting the body hang. Press through all four corners of the feet as you bend the knees, rolling up to stand tall. Take the arms up overhead, reach, reach, reach out of the pinkies, 
Rotate the palms towards the back of the wall, lengthening out through both sides. Squeeze the outer glutes just a little bit. On your next exhale, both hands towards heart center. We inhale, take both palms up towards the sky. Urva Hastasana, exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale for a halfway lift, fingertips to shins or blocks. Exhale, bend the knees, hands towards the floor. We send the right leg back for a low lunge, then drop the back knee on top of the toes. Fingertips or hands to the floor or to two blocks. We inhale, round the spine. Press through the front foot, back shin. Exhale, walk the hands, dig the front heel. Lengthening the spine, heart, and butt forward and back. Inhale, walk it forward. As you roll through the foot, press down in the front and the back as well. Inhale, round the spine. Exhale, walk it forward, back. Two more, inhale, walk it forward. Exhale, walk it back. One more, inhale, walk it forward. Fill the front body. Exhale, walk it back. Let the back body lengthen. Inhale, walk it forward. Right hand into the earth or a block. Take the left hand up towards the sky. Flip the palm. Take it to the um, small of your back or keep the left hand up towards the sky. Two breaths here. Inhale, fill the belly. Exhale, let the breath leave. Take another inhale through the nose. Exhale, slowly float the right hand down. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee as you press through the hands and both feet low lunge. Take the hands, um, remove the blocks for now. Both hands into the earth, step the left foot back. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, drop the knees and tuck the toes, your modified chaturanga. Inhale, lift for a baby cobra. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift the heart one inch away from the mat. Look diagonally towards the floor, lengthening the back of the neck. Exhale, lower down. One more, inhale. Lifting the belly, but pressing the front of the leg into the earth. Keep breathing, maybe rise onto the fingertips or squeezing the shoulders onto the back, lift the hands away from the earth. Take an inhale, exhale, lower down. Inhale, come through all fours back to your downward facing dog. Inhale, rise onto the balls of the feet. Exhale, bend the knees, either tiptoe or jump towards the top of your mat, forward fold. Inhale for a halfway lift, fingertips to shins or blocks. Spine lengthens, crown of the head forward, tailbone back. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, bend the knees, press through the feet, rolling up through the spine. As the spine lengthens, so do the arms. Reach, reach, reach through the pinky tips, palms rotating back. Exhale, hands to heart center. We inhale, we keep going. Take the hands all the way up. Exhale, widen the hands, send the hips back. Knees forward, chair pose. Here in chair pose, big toes are slightly touching, heels still apart. And if you look down, can you see all 10 toes? That's how you can gauge if you're too far forward or too far back. Finding the belly engaged to protect the low spine. Take one more breath in. Exhale, strong belly. We inhale, lift onto, lift the left heel away from the earth so most of the weight is in the right leg. Now notice how the left toes and all of the right foot is pressing to the earth. And you sit all on the sensation for another breath. We inhale through the nose. Exhale, lower the left heel down. Take it for a forward fold. <sighs> inhale for a halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. <sighs> inhale, send the left leg back. Drop the knees, untuck the toes. Inhale, press through the front foot, back shin. Heart high, high crest, um, on down asana, <laughs> crescent lunge. We inhale. Take the arms to a goal post position, palms face forward. Look down, pull the pubic bone up. Inhale, lift the heart, keep pulling the pubic bone up. Exhale, 
Press through the front foot and bottom shin even more. Inhale, take the arms up. Left wrist, left hand grabs the right wrist. We pull it over toward the left. Exhale, left hand to the right thigh. Right hand reaching back forward, twist. Inhale, lengthening through the spine, squeezing the outer glutes as well as pressing down into the floor. Exhale, look back just a little bit more. We inhale, take both arms, look forward once more. Exhale, both hands towards the floor. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, press through the front foot and back toes, same as we did in chair pose, all the way up for a high lunge. We inhale, take the arms to a goal pose position. Exhale, soften the ribs towards the back wall even more. Can you still find that same engagement even with the legs apart? And I mean the engagement in your feet. Pressing through the front foot, back heel raise. And then we squeeze the inner thighs towards one another, really squeezing the back glute. Squaring off both hips towards the front. One more breath in. Take the arms up high. Exhale, open it up, warrior two. Front toes facing forward. Back toes 90 degrees or a little bit less. We're still pressing through all four corners of the feet, squeezing the inner thighs towards one another. Pubic bone pulling up. Collarbones widen. We take two more breaths in warrior two. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, ribs soften. One more breath in. Exhale, feet soften into the floor. We inhale, left hand to the back of the left calf lightly. Right hand reaches all the way up and over reverse warrior. Exhale, cartwheel the hands back down, low lunge. We spin the back heel up towards the sky. Take a breath in. Come up onto the fingertips, lift the heart forward. Exhale, both hands into the mat. Step the right leg back, high plank. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, drop the knees, untuck the toes, modified chaturanga. Inhale, lift the heart all the way up for a baby cobra. Front of the legs into the earth. Pressing through the hands, heart high, widening the collarbones. Exhale, lower it down. Inhale, take the fingertips wide. Inhale, press through the fingertips, elbows reaching up. Exhale, roll the right ear and right shoulder as low as you can. Inhale, lift the heart, look forward. Exhale, roll the right shoulder, right ear as low as you can. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, left side. Inhale, lift up back to center. Exhale, right side. Inhale, lift up back to center. Exhale, lower the heart, hands back by your sides. Inhale, come through all fours. Exhale, take it back downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up towards the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, take it up back towards the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, left leg up towards the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, take it back up. Exhale, lower the left leg down. Inhale, rise onto the balls of the feet. Exhale, bend the knees. Tiptoe or jump toward the top of your mat. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Press through the feet, lengthening through the backs of the legs. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, bend the knees, rolling up through the spine. Come to stand tall, Urva Hasasana. Exhale, hands at heart center. We keep going, other side. Inhale, take it all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bend the knees, lift the heart, butt back, chair pose. Two breaths here. Inhale, fill the belly. Exhale, belly grows strong. Maybe sit a little bit deeper. Can you find the legs growing out and in towards one another, finding that strength? Inhale through the nose. Exhale, take it back down, forward fold. Inhale, step the right foot back, low lunge. Drop the back knee, untuck the toes. Inhale, arms reach all the way up. Exhale, hands to goal post position. Exhale, ribs soften. Inhale, 
Press through the front foot, back shin, lift the heart. Exhale, soften those ribs. Inhale, take the arms up. Left hand reaches over, right hand helps pull the left wrist side, bend. Exhale, right hand to left thigh, left hand reaching back for a twist. One breath in, press through the feet, squeeze the outer glutes, lengthening through the spine. Exhale, maybe look back just a little bit more. Inhale, take the hands up. Exhale, lower the hands back down. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, take the hands all the way up, high lunge. Whoopsie. If you like, you can bend the back knee just a little bit and then really press through the front foot and back toes, squaring off the hips to the front of the room, finding the pubic bone pulled up. We inhale, reach through the pinkies, exhale, open up warrior two. Pressing through the edges of the back foot, pressing through the fullness of the front foot. We take one more breath in. Exhale, let the ribs soften. Let the collarbones widen, arms soften as well, but be long. We inhale, right fingertips to the back of the right calf, lightly, left hand reaches up, war reverse warrior. Exhale, float both arms down, low lunge. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, lengthen the heart as you step the left foot back, high plank. Exhale, drop the knees, untuck the toes, modify chaturanga, lower chin, chest, heart. Inhale, look forward, baby cobra or high cobra. Exhale, lower down. Tuck the back toes, come through all fours, back to your downward facing dog. Lift the right leg up towards the sky, knees and toes facing down, still squaring the hips. Exhale, right knee to the chest. Inhale, take it back up. Exhale, shift it forward, right knee to the chest. One more, inhale, take it back up. Exhale, right knee to the chest. Inhale, take it back up. Exhale, right foot down. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, bend the knees, jump or take baby hops toward the top of your mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, press through the feet, bend the knees, round the spine. Come to stand tall, arms reach, 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 reach all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center, palms in prayer position. Take one big breath in. And one breath out. Notice if there's there's definitely a sense of generative heat running through your body. Allow yourself to keep going with it. We inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale for a halfway lift. Exhale, bend the knees, send the sit bones back, hands reaching up toward the sky, chair pose. Exhale, hands to heart center. We inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, press the left hand into the right, take it over for a twist. Left elbow can hook outside of the right thigh or the left hand, and you can send the right hand back, looking towards the back wall. Inhale, lengthen the heart towards the right. Exhale, send your gaze towards the back wall even more. Inhale, take both hands and the gaze back towards the front. Exhale, lower everything down, forward fold. Inhale, hands to the floor. Step the left foot back, low lunge. Press through the front foot, back toes. Inhale, high lunge. Maybe bend the back knee. Exhale, hands to heart center. <sighs> Inhale, squeeze the outer glutes. Lift the pubic bone, long spine. Exhale, left hand presses into the right. Take it over for a twist. <sighs> Inhale, take it back to center. Exhale, over for a twist. <sighs> Inhale, take the arms all the way up. Take the left hand, reach for the right wrist. Pressing through both feet, squeezing the left outer glute as you reach over toward the left. Exhale, hands to back center. They meet at your heart as you twist over towards the right. Take one more breath in. Exhale, maybe stay long and tall or hook the left elbow outside of the right thigh, pressing into one another. Back heel lifts, lengthening the back hamstring up towards the sky. One breath in. Exhale, take the arms all the way up high, lunge. In, 
Exhale, warrior two. One breath in, one breath out. Inhale, press through the front foot, back foot as well, reverse warrior. Exhale, right forearm, perpendicular right thigh. Press the right forearm down as you lift and reach the left arm up overhead, rolling the left ribs over the right. Inhale, spread the ribs. Exhale, belly strong. Inhale, press through the feet. Exhale, cartwheel both hands down. Spin the back heel high, lunge. Heart lengthens forward, hands into the earth as you step the right foot back. Exhale, drop the knees and tuck the toes, your modified chaturanga. Inhale, lift the heart for a full cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, come back to downward facing dog. Inhale, rise onto the balls of the feet. Exhale, look forward, bend the knees, tiptoe or jump toward the top of your mat, forward fold. Inhale for a halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bend the knees. Let the chest rest into the thighs for a moment and then roll up through the spine. Stand tall, Dadasana. We keep going, hands reach all the way up. Exhale, hands at heart center, chair pose. Inhale, press through the feet, belly strong, lift the spine. Exhale, right hand presses into the left, right elbow hooks outside of the left thigh. We inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, maybe look towards the back wall even more. Modification, right hand to left thigh, left hand reaching back. One more breath in. Exhale, look forward, hands back of heart center. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale for a halfway lift. Exhale, bend the knees, hands down towards the floor. Step the right foot back, low lunge. Press through the front foot, back toes. Maybe bend the back knee just a little bit to square off those hips, high lunge. Inhale, reach the fingertips all the way up. Right hand to left wrist, pull it all the way over. Side bend. On your next inhale, press through the feet, squeeze the outer glutes as you come back to center. Exhale, right hand to the left. Take it over towards the left for a twist. Inhale, lift the spine, lift the heart as you come back towards center. Exhale, take it over for a twist. Inhale, take it one more time back to center. Exhale, over for a twist. Inhale, press through the front and back foot. Exhale, keep pressing through the floor. You take maybe the right elbow to the outside of the left thigh. One breath in and one breath out. One breath in, squeezing the inner thighs, squeezing the outer glutes, belly strong. Maybe send your gaze toward the sky. Exhale, stay for one more moment, you got it. Inhale, press through the feet, take the arms all the way up high, lunge. Exhale, open it up, warrior two. Right foot directly forward, back foot 90 degrees or less. One breath in. As you exhale, soften the belly. Inhale, right fingertips, direct calf, left arm up overhead, reverse warrior. Exhale, left forearm to left thigh, right arm overhead, extended side angle. Inhale, press through the feet. Exhale, belly soften. Inhale, rolling the right ribs over the left. Exhale, stay for one more moment. Take another breath in. Exhale, cartwheel both hands down to low lunge. Inhale, maybe walk the back foot just in a little bit more. Then walk all 10 fingers and toes clockwise so that you're facing the right side of your mat. Bend the knees, send the hips back. Come up onto the fingertips or blocks, long spine. Exhale, palms into the floor, let the heart lower. Inhale. Lengthen the heart, lengthen the spine, press through those feet. Exhale, lower down. One more, press through the hands, press through the feet, find length and power. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, straighten the legs. Maybe you dive forward just a little bit. Let yourself do that. Exhale, slowly bow the head to 
towards the earth. Wide-legged forward fold. We're here for five breaths. You can take two fists to the top of your head or take a full body hang. Find what feels good for you. Long, deep breath. On your next inhale, hands to the floor, look forward. Exhale, walk everything towards the top of your mat. Be in a low lunge on the left side. Hands to the floor, lift the heart on your inhale. Exhale, palms to the earth, step the left foot back, high plank. Inhale, press through the toes, shift forward. Exhale, drop the knees, untuck the toes. Lower down, chin, chest, heart, and modify chaturanga. Inhale, lift to full cobra. Exhale, we send the hips back. Take it all the way to a well-deserved child's pose. Nice job, everybody. Three deep breaths here as you inhale, fill the belly and the thighs. Exhale, the upper body melt. Inhale, feel the back body rise. As you exhale, maybe the lower part of your back wants to grow down closer towards the earth. Let your body do as best as it can and what it wants to do. Now on your next inhale, look forward, come to all fours. We're gonna take the right shin forward for pigeon. The right shin does not have to be at a 90 degree angle. It could be um, a little bit less or even at 45. And in pigeon, if you find yourself sitting on your right cheek a lot, you might wanna take a block, a pillow or a blanket, place it underneath your right thigh so that both hips are even um, if they were a table and they're both squaring off towards the front of the mat. You can stay perched up, keeping the spine long, belly strong, or you can take a bow forward, two fists stacked on top of one another. Two breaths here on your own time. As you inhale, use the hands, press into the earth, lift up. If you're on a block, carefully remove it. Place the block off to the side. Roll onto the right hip a lot so that the left leg can come around long. Take the right foot, cross it over the left. We inhale, left arm reaches up. Exhale, right hand to the back of the right hip. Left hand hugs the right knee. Take it over for a gentle twist. You're sitting up on the sits bones, long spine as you inhale. Exhale, maybe send your gaze towards the back wall even more. One more just like that. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, look towards the back wall even more. Inhale, take it back to center. Exhale, undo the crisscross in both legs. Find both bottoms of the feet kissing towards one another. You need to, you could take uh, two blocks or a pillow underneath the knees um, if your hips are, don't feel as open, or you can take a block in between the feet as a resting place for your head. We're gonna go into um, Tarasana. So you're gonna inhale, lift the heart as you sit onto the sits bones, long spine. Exhale, start to walk the hands forward. Let the sits bones grow closer towards the ground as the heart melts forward. Three breaths here. On your next inhale, use the hands. Gently roll up through the spine. Exhale, take the knees up towards the sky. 
Do a little windshield wiper for the hips and the low back. And then swing the legs around, take it back to all fours, set up your pigeon on the left side. Again, if you need a block underneath the hip, go ahead and do so. A blanket that's rolled up or a pillow will do. Sitting on, sitting up, I mean, belly strong or take it down towards the earth. Two big breaths here. And use the inhale, use the hand. Sit up, heart high. Come up onto the hands if you have a block. Gently um, remove the prep. Sorry, mine's a little bit stuck. Really sit onto the left hip, so the left, right leg can gently swing around. Let the right leg be long, take the left foot, cross it over. Sitting up onto both sit bones, belly strong, long spine. We inhale, take the right arm up. Exhale, right hand hugs the left knee, left fingertips towards the back hip. We inhale, lift up onto the sit bones, long spine. Exhale, send your gaze towards the back wall even more. One more breath in. Long spine, lift the heart, lifting up out of the sit bones. Exhale, look towards the back wall even more. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, find both feet flat on the earth, knees facing up. Take the hands towards you and on your next exhale, slowly roll the spine from bottom to top all the way so you're laying on your mat once more we're going to take a bridge pose so find both hands and palms flat on the earth long down by your side if you can walk the feet in just a little bit more maybe tickle the backs of your heels knees directly up towards the sky if you want you can take robot arms so that you really have strength in your shoulders and that the shoulders and collarbones widen on your next inhale, press through all four corners of the feet, lifting the hips up towards the sky. Keep inhaling as you walk the shoulders onto your back, maybe the hands clasp underneath. Exhale, squeeze the glutes. On your next inhale, lift the chin up towards the sky. Exhale, stay here. Two breaths on your own time. On your next exhale, slowly release the hands underneath your back. Roll down from the top of the cervical spine through the thoracic all the way to the lumbar. Then start to windshield wipe for the knees left and right. Little oopsie, gentle twists for your back. We're going to hug in the right leg. Maybe take the left hand down. Um, peace sign fingers, take the big toe, take the knee in towards your chest. Option one, stay here. Option two, inhale, kick the heel up towards the sky. Exhale, let the knee bend, let the thigh soften towards the earth in your armpit. It's kind of like a half happy baby. Inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, let the knee soften. Keeping the left knee up towards the sky as you straighten the leg once more. Exhale, slowly let the right leg go. Right hand down, left knee in towards the chest. Peace sign fingers to the left big toe. Option one, again, stay here. Let the knee be bent. Keep letting the knee fall into the armpit. Or option two, straighten the leg. Exhale, let the knee bend. Two more like that, if not your own choosing. And on the last one, let the left leg go. Take a moment here and find both knees in towards the chest. Find both peace sign fingers at both big toes, both knees into the armpits. Find a happy baby rocking left and right. 
you would like to, you can play with straightening one leg and then the other, getting into the inner thighs. When you're ready, on one big exhale, slowly let everything float down to be long on your mat for Shavasana. Closing the eyes. Settling down for the final part of our practice. Know that if any thoughts come into the mind, simply see them and then let them go. If they matter to you, they will come back. But for now, acknowledge that you have nowhere to be, nothing to do and nothing to be for the next couple minutes. Anytime your mind starts to wander, bring your attention back to the rise and fall of your belly just as we did in the beginning of class. And if you would like to, you can stay in Shavasana for as long as you prefer. Again, stay in Shavasana for as long as you like. Or keeping the eyes closed, take the feet to the floor. Slowly roll off to the right side of your body. Take a moment to thank your body and the space and the practice for just their existence and then being available. And using the top hand, keeping the eyes closed. Keep both hands into the earth. Find yourself in a seated position. You can be sitting on a block to keep the long spine, legs crossing one of another. Find both hands on the knees or inner creases of your thighs, palms facing up to receive energy, palms facing down to feel more grounded. Come back to the rise and fall of your belly or the belly expanding and contracting naturally. Take an inhale for yourself. Exhale, bow the chin towards your chest. Take an inhale for your practice. Exhale. Take another inhale for yourselves. Maybe let a smile grow across your face. Exhale, let that come. Find both palms meeting in a prayer position. I want to thank you guys for practicing, for being. I hope this practice has served you in some way, that you can take something from it with you throughout the rest of your Memorial Day weekend. I wish you all the very best. Namaste. Thank you guys so much, all of you at HealthQuest, all of you viewers, um, whoever tuned into this class. Again, my name is Jen, and it was my pleasure to be guiding you all through a 53-minute class. I know I said it was going to be an hour, but um, again, thank you all, and have a very, very lovely rest of your day. Bye.